Good evening. After a victory to claim the National Little League title yesterday, the YPO All-Star team fell short of the world title in a defensive battle against Japan today. Now he squares the bunt, drops it down the third baseline, and it gets away. The Hawaii boys' only run came on this bunt attempt by Ezra Haleski in the bottom of the fourth, scoring, scoring Bryson Yoshii off a throwing error. Lots of runners left on base for Hawaii this game, thanks to the Japanese defense, like this web gem by Natsuki Mizumachi, robbing second baseman Kahoea Akao of a hit in the fifth. Then the dagger came in the top of the sixth with this two-run shot by Conan Tomori to right field. That was extra security for the Japanese team who held the YPO sluggers in their last three outs. Final score, four to one. No other Little League World Series team has won five elimination games. No other team has played five games in a row on five consecutive days. No other team has played seven games at the Little League World Series. Great, great effort. Yeah, I'm so proud of them. They, they're, they're an awesome bunch of kids. Awesome. I'm proud of them. KITV 4 is Dick Allgaier once again with fans and supporters watching this amazing run. Pamela, it was amazing, and the fans had nothing but praise and admiration for the Hawaii ballplayers. Yeah! We were back again at the Mililani Golf Course Clubhouse. We've been here a lot since last weekend. This was the biggest and most vocal crowd yet. League President Stephen Masuhara hasn't changed his shirt since they started winning five straight elimination games. I think the manager and the coaches are doing a good job of having the kids go out there and have fun and, and just play one game at a time and don't worry about tomorrow until it happens. The Hawaii team rallied in the fourth inning, but a questionable call, a pitch clearly outside called a strike, killed the rally. I've been an umpire also, so that's a judgment call. But that was about two, three balls outside corner, so that, that was a, a quite big. The boys played a good game, but the incredible winning streak finally came to an end. See them make it this far, we're, we're, we're just as proud. They could have win or lose, we're as proud as we could ever be of these boys. Unbelievable. Losing the first game meant everything, meaning that they had to win every single game. Uh, to be this far, to get this far, and also to win the New York Championship, that is the ultimate goal in the league. That is what these kids should be ecstatic. I, I'm very proud of them. I don't think you can describe how much heart they have from what they had to come from to get to this game. I think they have nothing to be ashamed of, and I think that um, they, they served us well here in Hawaii. Um, it's just unfortunate that they came up short. Lifted to a cow at second, and Hawaii beats Georgia on back to back. So we had a lot to cheer about. There were thrilling plays, come from behind wins. They won a national championship. For me, one of the most memorable moments was when they made the last out today. The crowd in Mililani, disappointed for an instant, gave them an ovation, applauding a job well done. And the team is expected to return back home on United Flight 83 tomorrow at about 4.55 p.m. We'll have coverage of the homecoming. And if you want to bring Lays or show your support for the national champs, you can meet them at United Baggage Claim H. Pamela?